How's it going everybody? Mushkin here and today I'm here with my raw main event review and again this week we did not really have like a main event as far as as far as like a wrestling match goes. It's pretty much like a contract signing. It was a contract signing between Charlotte and Paige for the Divas Championship which is going to happen. The match is going to happen this Sunday at Survivor Series. Now I saw a lot of tweets about this on Twitter and stuff saying that they were making this bigger than it actually was. I mean having a contract signing for it. And having it close out the show pretty much, you know? So that's a lot. And people were just like kind of ticked off about it. I, on the other hand, was just like, uh, this better be good. Because if not, then you're just giving us, you know, crap for the show. You know, the ending of the show pretty much. But in my opinion, it was okay. It would have been fine if it was in the middle of the show. But it was towards the end of the show. So whatever. And the way it ended, I guess it does make sense for, for it to be at the end of the show. But... Whatever. So pretty much it starts out, of course, Charlotte and Paige are in the ring. They got the table. They got the setup. Of course, it isn't going to last long like any other contract signing. And Charlotte just starts off pretty much. On, you know, Dr. Michael Cole starts off. And he's like, I saw you two, you know, trying out for NXT together. You guys bonded. You guys were the best of friends. So what happened? You know, and Paige is like, it was never about friends. Like, it never is. You know, you persuade people to become friends with you in this business for you to get to other places in this business, you know? And Charlotte's just like, you know, like disgusted with Paige and she's just all like, I looked up to you. I wanted to be like you. Yeah, I must. Yeah, I was, you know, the daughter and am the daughter of Ric Flair, but you're this British badass. Like, you know, I wanted to be like you. I, I, I looked up to you. And we come from such similar backgrounds. We saw our parents, you know, get beat up on TV to put their bodies on the line. You know, wrestling meant everything to them, you know. And she pretty much just says, Charlotte, you know, that you've always been there for me, Paige. You were there for me when my brother died. You were there for this, for that. And Paige is just pretty much nobody's friends in this business. They're, the only reason they're friends is to get from one place to another. Especially since you're the daughter of Ric Flair, why wouldn't I pretend to be your friend to get to one place to another? And I never have your back. You you never know when I'm going to turn my back on you, you know? And um, and then Paige is just getting all pumped up. She's like, it's not about friends. And you know what? Why don't you call your daddy out here? Why don't you call Ric Flair out of here? You know, like he can do, you know, he can get in the ring, you know, drop some elbows, you can do the flare, you know, uh, you know, what, what's it called? <laughs> The flare walk, whatever, you know, uh, just do that. Where is your daddy at, huh? So she says that pretty much. And, you know, Charlotte's just like, you know, there's millions of people watching around the world. There's probably hundreds, thousands of little girls watching right now on the TV wanting to be a Divas champion. This is the example you're setting for them, really? When you grew up wanting to be a Divas champion? And Paige is just like, Great speech, Charlotte, but I'm not taking it, taking any of that crap from you and all that stuff. And Charlotte just says something, I guess, about fighting or something and having, like, true spirit, hard work and all that stuff. And Paige kind of takes it a little too far. And I don't know if this was a shoot or not or if this is scripted. We'll get a little bit more into it later on in the video. But Paige just says, well, I guess your little brother didn't have, en didn't have enough fight now, did he? And by that, she means when Reed, Reed Flair, right? I think that, yeah, Reed Flair, who died two years ago now, I think. I don't remember, but she says about him not having enough fight, and Charlotte just goes off on Paige. Like, she just starts beating her up. They're having a brawl, of course. And this is the part that I don't understand. Was this a shoot? Because we know that Paige speaks her mind. Like, she does not care. She will speak her mind. Or was the scripted to take it to that next level of having it being really personal and also to set up this match to be like a really big match to have it like have meaning and stuff because you know now it's like personal and you know like you know to have like a cliffhanger almost to close out the show. So I don't know if this was a shoot or if this was real because you know Charlotte was acting like it was real but of course it was a, it was her brother so even if it was scripted she had that emotion in her to like make it look like it was real I don't know but either way the contract signing overall I liked it it was pretty good but if it was in the middle of the show that would have been fine but if it was at the end of the show it makes sense why because at that brawl they had like that you know little stare off so it kind of makes sense to have it towards the end of the show to close off like that but uh either way you guys I, I went to a lengthy deep review detailed review because this video is almost five minutes now but yeah you guys that's it for this video if you guys like this video if you did give it a big old thumbs up subscribe to me for more videos and i'll see you guys next time bye